Okay, this is the uh, uh, third uh, part three of the tutorials making a flyer. So here's what we're going to do here. Okay, we're going to do this part here. But before that, I'm just going to duplicate this one to show you what I did here. So in order to duplicate that without offset distance, you click on plus sign, okay? And then move it over to the left side. Now here, it's grouped together, so I'll just ungroup it. The, con the concept here is these are digital pictures from a digital camera, and it was power clipped onto the squares here. Okay, so this one, if you go, you know, it's power clip was here in the status bar. It says power clip. So you go to effects. What we're gonna do? We're going to extract this image. Extract. Effects. Power clip extract so if you notice here so it's just pictures right inside the squares so extract power clip okay okay I'll just show you the principle on it so now uh, a thing to remember when you're doing power clip is just uh, if you go to tools and click on options and the first thing you have to do is when you click on edit here in workspace okay, uh, make sure that the uh, auto center new power clip content is unchecked okay and click OK now here I have to make this two back okay so we're going to power clip these three objects here okay so what I'm gonna do, I have to put my picture to back, okay? So order to back of page. Okay, uh, click OK here, and then here. So it's the to back of page. Now if I'm gonna zoom in here. Okay, so it's just like cropping. Say for example, I'm okay with this kind of view, right? With the box there. So I'm gonna do is just click on the photograph or digital picture go to effects create power clip place inside the container and just click on the square okay and I'll do this one uh, have to make it order to back to back of page okay and I'll move it down and click on effects power clip place inside a container which container this one and then I'll do the last one here. Again, arrange order to back. Okay. And then click on effects, power clip, place inside the container. Which container? This container. So that's the principle of the power clip. Another shortcut thing to in alignment say for example you have you know squares like this and this one here so you want to align to the top of this of this image here right so of course there's another way to do it you make a guideline right and then make sure when you click on view uh, snap to guideline is checked okay and then you click and then you just drag it to the guidelines and it snaps to guidelines right See, it snaps. So now you know that it's aligned. Another way to do it too is this way here. Click click on this object, click on this one, and then the last object would be the basis of your alignment. So I'll click on this one because I want it to top of this. And then in your keyboard, type in T, the letter T as in Tango, and it's going to align to top. Okay. So let's do that again. I'll just do undo here. So you click the first object, the second object. It doesn't matter which object you have, but the last object matters because the last object would be the basis of your alignment. So click on the last object and type in T for top. Right. Now, if you notice too, okay, I'm not really sure if the if this one you know the spacing here is equal to the spacing here 
Okay, so I'll just make it, uh, I'll exaggerate it. Okay. Now my problem is how can I make it equal spacing here? Okay. In Corel Draw, uh, there's uh, an option of Allah, uh, distribute. Okay, so distribute, like making spacing equal. So click on the first object, second, and the last object. Okay. So the important thing is the first and the last because there's the first and the last won't move. It's only the center that's going to move and make it the same spacing as here, same spacing in between. So you go to Arrange, okay, Align and Distribute, okay, Arrange, Align and Distribute, and go to the last option which is Aligned and Distribute. And in here, you're going to have this dialog box and click on Distribute. And you see this icon here for spacing? Okay, we're not going to do that because that's vertical. So you're going to do this because it's horizontal. Okay. And if you look at the icons, it will really explain visually what you want to do. So you click on spacing. Okay. And then click on apply there. Did you notice something? Changed. The spacing here now is the same to the spacing here. So you can do that when you're doing the, you know, uh, distributing the spacing of your of these grids so okay we're almost done with that so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna duplicate this one plus sign and move it over here okay okay now I have to since this one has to be to back so I'll make it to back so arrange order to back of page and I'll just move it down a little bit So there you go. F4. Okay. That's the end of this tutorial part three.